Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Apologies, I've been a little bit AWOL. I've not had much time to schedule proper YouTube content other than the shorts I've been putting on the channel. But today, I wanted to go over something with you very candid. And if you are someone who is impatient or dare I say ignorant, apologies for that. Uh, this video is probably not gonna be for you because I lay it down like it is. So as you guys probably know, or if you don't know, we work with the South Asian community predominantly to help them lose weight, get fit, break through the barriers and dispel all the nonsense garbage myths that are out there. That's it, simple as that. However, the one thing that I go through with every single client, especially with our client Sonia, who is the subject of today, I won't be able to post any photos because she has asked for us to uh, not post anything private, but I'm gonna quickly give you an overview of her journey. The one thing that we do, when someone comes on board with us, we don't talk to them about the fancy programs, the apps and all the cool nutrition plans and the fasted cardio and the fat burning methods and all that stuff. No, the first thing that we do is lay out the expectations and we say to every single one of them, this is going to take some time. That's it. If a client is unwilling to accept that, I then explain the journey. If they're still unwilling to accept that, then we probably cut the cord because we don't want to take their money and deliver something that they uh, are trying to get, but it's going to be unrealistic. It's as simple as that. So we try to get clients to understand it's going to take a bit of time. If you're watching this just now, you're probably going to get put off by the fact that I've said that and you're going to tune out. Please don't. You have to accept the fact that you're in this position because you've spent the best part of months, maybe years, uh, gaining weight, developing poor habits, being sedentary, etc, etc. So the good news is that it doesn't take six months to lose it all. You know, you could achieve some incredible initial results in as little as two to three months, and then you can keep going to see how far you can push it. But you have to understand that this is a lifestyle change. Unless you are a bodybuilder, a competitive athlete, a sports person of any kind where you know how to cut weight and you're having to do things and manipulate things in a short time frame, then by all means go for it. But I'm assuming that's not you. 99% of the people we deal with are average folks just like myself. So if you want to lose weight, it's going to take some time. This is something our client Sonia had come to us. She came to us because she wanted to lose weight. What happened was well, she refused to accept the fact that this is going to take longer than three months. She decided against it. She came back to us uh, a couple of months later, gained some more weight, spoke to someone else, and uh, they had promised them a quick fix. She spent two months and got absolutely nowhere. In fact, she was far worse off. And she came back to us and obviously we are now getting her to make progress and she's dropped like 12 kilograms already. The point is, if I can get someone to understand that it's going to take a bit of time, you have to embrace the process. Process is everything. That's it. If you enjoy the process, you will win. You don't have to be motivated to watch a Netflix show or whatever it may be. It's something you look forward to and you'll make time for. You don't have to be motivated for that. So when it comes to your nutrition, when it comes to exercise or just steps or just kind of things to help improve yourself, you have to have a little bit of, you know, I'm looking forward to it and I want to do this every single day. And this all stems from the fact that you guys are doing practices that you do not enjoy and it's not realistic enough, okay? So it's very, very important, I do stress that because most of the time when people are trying to lose weight, they are doing things that their favorite influencer and TikTok is doing or on Instagram and they're failing because you can't replicate what someone else is doing. So if you're watching this and you were looking for a, a hack or a tip of some sort, apologies, that doesn't exist. It requires time. It requires patience and consistency. The good news is that you don't have to do Chloe Ting workouts and 15 minutes ab workouts and 45 minute hit sessions every single day. Nope, nope, nope. You don't have to do any of that, but you do have to start to improve nutrition, start to sleep a bit better, maybe drink some more water, uh, look at where you're eating junk food and cut that back. You know, go for some exercise if you want, if you can manage it to begin with, but I would probably say no. In your first couple of weeks, focus on your steps, then you can worry about workouts, but just simple things. Guys, Sonia, our client, we got her literally for the first six weeks just to go on walks every single day. That was it, fix her nutrition. We got her sleeping a bit better and she was losing weight each week. That's it. So you have to understand, you have to be willing to accept the fact that this is gonna take time. This is clear as I can make it. Now I will be back in the next uh, video with something a bit more practical that you guys can take away, but I thought today I'll just uh, voice my thoughts and just kind of be real with you guys because uh, one of the things that we are known for is just telling it like straight. We don't like to sugarcoat anything or try to kind of uh, mislead or misinform anyone. That's why we turn a lot of people away, but also we don't have a huge audience because we tell people what they don't wanna hear, which is the truth. All right, folks, so thank you very much for 
for watching the video. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you do get notified when I do post a video. Check out the shorts as well. There's plenty of content there. But as you guys know, we're trying to build a community on YouTube as well. We're a bit late to the game, but we're doing that now. So better late than never. So yeah, do subscribe. Let everyone know about the channel as well. And if there's anything I can cover for you, please do let me know via social media and it will take your suggestions. And who knows, we can probably cover it in another video. Until next time, folks.